Well, we're back home from the lake. Had a good time. Water felt great. It's a nice warm day. Allie wants to say hi in our green pool. Hi, I'm Allison. That's Allison. Anyway, this is a very small Mahonia Repens true form. This was purchased from a, a nursery as Mahonia Repens. And this looks exactly like what I saw up in Montana, up in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Um, there's zone six and zone five up there. I'm not sure which zone I was in. I do know it was August and we woke up one morning to frost on the roof of the tent. So I don't think aquafolium can survive up there. At the time, I didn't know what I was seeing. I knew it was a Mahonia. I didn't know what species. And so I took pictures of it. And when I got back to civilization, because evidently there's no cell service anywhere in Montana, just kidding. Um, I looked it up and it, it's Mahonia repens. It's native to the, the mountains up there in Montana and all over the West. And it's a very different and distinguishable thing from aquafolium. So I think they also hybridize. I'm not sure. I would love to know this for sure because I see all over town in, um, usually in parking lots and in commercial landscape, I see Mahonia that looks a lot like repens but it also looks a lot like aquafolium but i think repens in its in its true form and its native natural form i think is very distinguishable from aquafolium whenever i saw it up in montana i knew it was a Mahonia but it was clearly not um, aquafolium and i think if you look at this too it's it's evident it's it's just a very it's a different species the leaves are soft they look deciduous they don't look like they should be evergreen the thorns they're not they exist but they are not spiky at all they're very soft to the touch so next time i'm in town i have seen true form um repens that is like 18 inches tall and like two feet wide and looks great it again it's it's not aquafolium it's easily to easy to identify um i'm gonna try and find some in town <laughs>